All right, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna cover how I make videos for gaming, or if I were to do any other videos. Uh, basically, I use Shadowplay to record um, everything for the most part, and you guys can tell that by just the videos you've seen. And I'll use Adobe Premiere Elements to do my videos. And I do have Photoshop and Illustrator and stuff like that to where a lot of my other clips are made. So I already have these things made on here. So like my intro is already made. I just add it in here. And let's see, I got uh, my giveaway, which is, yep, that's what it is right now. And system specs. And I have other folders with other system specs and things like that. But I have a main folder where I keep the current ones I'm using so when I go in here it's just this easy to click and grab them and also let's say what I do is I'll go in here I'll get my um, let's see we'll do this as an example because it'll be short and easy to do so I'll go ahead and I'll just drop in like my intro we'll do the giveaway and then we'll do the system specs We'll do the movie or whatever it is, and then usually I'll add in some blank screens, which this is, I think this is Movie Maker, just recorded some black screen for a few seconds. And um, this is allowed for the, like the end thumbnails that come up on here, so I don't cut into a video unless I want to cut into it a little bit. And what you do right here is you can expand them, easier to go in and to see what you're doing each one. And I mean, I'm just going to cover some basic features for somebody who's getting a start or they're curious to what I've been doing and using. And a lot of times what I'll have is when I get a video started, first thing I'll do is I'll go in and I'll adjust the sound levels. And the easiest way to do the sound adjustments is at the beginning before you start putting in fades and things like that. I'll usually go about two decibel around there, call it good. Yeah, that's, that's good and loud. Because I know with my system and the sound settings and things like that, I know where I'm at as far as with some of the issues with sound. Uh, Sonic Studio is something ASUS has, and it, it's always really buggy. And I'll uninstall it, and Windows will want to put it back in there and update, and it's just it's a big hassle, but I'm used to dealing with it. All right, so I've got my sound in there. We'll run it, we'll test it. Okay. Yeah, that's that's about where I want it. And next thing I'll do is I'll go in typically and I will cut out a piece. So I'll go to the main. Let's see, these are good. These are good. I'll go to here. And let's say I want to cut out a little bit of this. Out. I'm like, I don't need this part to about. Yeah. So right about there. I'll expand it in. Try to find the best frames, frame by frame in here. We'll say we'll start it right there, right there. I just cut it, and then you can go delete or delete and close gap. <laughs> and we'll go to the end. Let's see, expand this and we'll see. A lot of times I'll have like, uh, on the keyboard, I'll end the video here, click. There it is right there. And I won't want that in the video, obviously, so I'll remove the click. And there's a couple things I can do if I need to keep it or I want to take it out. Let's say you've got a sound that you don't want, you don't want heard and it's only a couple frames. You can pretty much go in here and you can cut it. And then you can delete this out or you can just drag it down and leave it there, which is probably your best bet. So then that's pretty much gone. And if it's, well, there's a click actually, but you kind of get the idea what I do. And I do a lot of, you can always undo which is really good to a certain point. And next what I'll do on the videos is let's say I'll add some text. So let's say, and I'll do this, you can go to the start points, which is really good. So this way you don't have to try to drag it and put it on the line you want to start right there. And we'll go text, new text, default text, what I typically use. And it's pretty small. I'll highlight it, you don't always have to highlight it, sometimes you just type in. And we'll go 250 right now. And then we'll just type in, uh, oh, I think I went too far. Let's see if this gets it. And then this is alignment helps. 
<clears throat> also, you have some extra alignment options in here for position. Let's say I'm on lower third. You guys see a lot of that. And you might think it might, sometimes in my video, you might think it might interfering with something, but I'm pretty much always just putting it in the same place. I'm not trying to drag it around because I want things to be consistent. You hit play. We'll say, okay, so we got that right there. And the text is right here. Text file. And let's say I need the text file to be longer. So what I can do is I can go ahead and just go down to, let's say, let's go to the next point. We'll just drag it all the way down. It's that simple. And then let's say that I want to change the color on it. The color, we'll make it red. And we'll put a drop shadow on it just a tiny bit. I don't want it to look silly or anything, but just enough to, to pop out. I think three is actually too much in some cases, but so it'll stand out a little bit and look a little better. And there's a lot more things you can do. Um, but for video editing, for the most part, it's this. And if I have a thumbnail, usually I'll, I'll do the text. I'll do it in Photoshop where I have more options. So we've got that. Let's play it. Looks good. I got the sound up already on here. And let's say I want this text to do something. So let's see if I got red options right here. Let's have it swing in. So you go to the front and drop it down. We'll have it swing in at two seconds. And let's say I want it to go ahead and to just kind of swing out, which it, depending on where you put it on the clip, as far as beginning or ending, can it make it instead of swinging out, maybe it kind of just disappears off the screen like this. But that's kind of what I want and kind of what I was expecting it to do. So. So, so it doesn't really swing, but it'll swing in though. We might test it, look at it. So, eh, two seconds is all right. I like it. And then let's see. I've got that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to each point and expand it like this, and I'm going to fade this out, not in, just out. So, okay, and then I'm going to fade this one, fade this one, and then I'm going to fade this one in for now. Alright, and I, I just feel like it makes the video a little more professional, there's a little more effort put into it than somebody just clips a video and puts it up, you know what I mean? There's a little effort put into it, a little thought process, a little work. I think the intro is really good, an intro is really good in the video. Um, as far as it helps put your brand name out there. But it needs to be short. I mean, these videos, it, you know, that's like four seconds, that's like nothing. I mean, but in the world of YouTube, four seconds, can somebody can already be clicking away. Um, All right, I'm right here. I might fade it out for mainly just I want the sound to fade out more in the video, but I'll just go ahead and just say fade, fade it out. And let's say it's not fading out exactly where I want it to. Like I want it to fade out a little sooner. Let's say there's something here I don't want somebody to hear. I don't want to clip it. So what I'll do is you just drag this and have it start sooner fading the sound out. Also, when it comes to sound files, is it what you can do is, let's say you've got a sound like somewhere in here when you're listening through it. Let's say from here to here, and you're like, oh, how'd that get in there? And so what you can do is go right here and cut it. And you can either delete this out, or you can just drag it down. And now it's gone. And if it's a small clip, short clip, nobody will even notice that that sound's gone. And then um, let's say you say, well, I really don't want to do that. I'm just going to leave it in there and call it good. You can just easily undo it. All right, so this is some good basics right now we're covering. What else we want to go into? I mean, for the, for the most part, some of the basic videos I do, this is pretty much something what I'll do for the video. I'll go in, add in the files on watch, which are, they're already made up through either like Photoshop or something like that, or Movie Maker. Um, I think usually typically if I have just like the logo, I'll take that logo <clears throat> from Photoshop, 
as a JPEG, then put on a movie maker, and then make it into a short four second clip, and then and then go ahead and then it's edited into here, and then I improve the quality at this location as far as because I have better options with Illustrator. And what, what I like about Illustrator is that if you're starting out YouTube and you don't want to spend a lot of money, there's a lot of programs out there, but I really do prefer Adobe, and I've actually worked with Adobe since back in. Um, it was a box set I got in college. I don't know, I got the whole box set. It was still like 500 bucks, but I think like 1996, 97, 98, somewhere around there, I got the whole box set. And I was able to run it for a lot of years to them where it just was, it's not relevant anymore. And then they have Adobe where like a CS or something like that you can use for free, and that's actually good enough. I mean, you'll be out of date if you're gonna go work somewhere to use it, but if you want to use something for free and not worry about it, it's a good option to do. Because um, I really don't like to pay for subscription services. It's kind of annoying to me. All right, and the, you can see there's a lot of different options in here. I'm just not go through them all. Obviously, it's just you just work with them and test them out. Now, let's say you want to do a split screen. So we'll go ahead and we'll just go here. Let's say part of this here I want to split screen it. So we'll go in here and we'll go to. Let's move this out of the way. which it's this is one thing where you see those thumbnails kind of a little bit weird this used to do 2018 was really bad this one's a lot better and it's just a software but so I'm gonna drop it right here so you can drop it on the screen up here but then it gives you an option that says yes do all I usually click no I usually best just to drop it right on the, the video you want to do and split it and once you've got the crop option, click on it, and let's see, you should get an option to come up if I did it right. And so let's just do this. We'll go back, we'll go undo. Does it go back any further? It only goes back so far, but yeah, I don't know. Let's see if it's. Let's just do the crop again. There we go. And let's say we're going to do a 50 50. So we'll go left 25, we'll go right 25, right, top, bottom, etc. And there you go. And then you can just drag it around to where you want. Looks like I just clipped the. Oh, I got everything. It's weird. So, let me see here what's going on. I've never had this happen before. So, the text is just interfering with me trying to grab it. But I can do this for now. There we go. Okay, so I've got it. That's one thing, if you do like, you do a bunch of videos, you split it up, like you said, I have like three. I don't like to do more than three because then they get too small, but they'll, they'll interfere. You might have to drag it aside to move the ones you want in position. So, but another thing to do is kind of line up the little dots. Not always the easiest thing. And then you can take a better look at it, play it. It's pretty good. All right, and then let's go ahead and take this down to there. Let's just take a look at it. see how it looks. My text got cropped. So basically what I would do with that is I would just delete the text. So go back. I've never had that happen before. It's probably happening because I'm doing this video, right? So we'll go bold. Go 50, 50. Yeah, all right. Bold. And then, let's say here, I'm gonna do alignment on it. Back in tag gaming. Yeah. Lowercase, middle case, whatever. Let's just put that in the center position and then let's say we want to move it down you got positioning 
like lower third is kind of where you, I used to do a lot of different things you see. And let's say I want to adjust the text, so let's go play. Okay, pause. Let's say I want to edit the text. Just click into it. Just go back and make this correction here. And then let's say at the same time I want to make it a color. Color. So let's go red. And then let's say it's like hard to see. Go back into color. We'll do a drop shadow. Let's do a little bit. Just make it look a little bit better. A lot of times on thumbnail, I'll, I'll use Photoshop. I think I already said that before. You get a lot more options in there. And let's take a look. Okay, that's good. And let's go back and take a look at. Did I fade everything in and out or what? So basically you want to move to the point you want to be at, then you want to zoom in. So this isn't fade anymore, so let's go fade in and out. And this is also why I do the sound beforehand. Because if you go to adjust the sound, then what happens is you end up with like just moving the little points around, which if you can grab it. And it'll drop another point, and you go fade, and you'll have all these different points. So if you just adjust the sound to where you want it, then hit fade, it'll it'll just stay like this. And you can move these positions back and forth, but it's all right. So let's just do this. Let's fade this out in the next clip. Fade this in, and then um, let's expand. You can expand them. And let's take a look at this. Here. Let's go ahead and take this. And let's start, a lot of times if you start text, what will happen is you have something to where it's faded out, it'll actually interfere with it or bring something in. So I'll start it probably typically at like this point right here to where it's done with the fade. And let's say we want to add some animation to it, which I think I had animation, I pretty much took it all off right here. And we'll just, we'll have it just swing in. Just drop it on the timeline. We'll go up to two seconds. Hit apply. Let's play. There we go. Looks good. And let's say I need to run this all the way to the end of the video. So the end point. Expand it. And let's go ahead. I'll just fade it. And let's say this fade point needs to be a different point. Like I said before, I can just change that to here. Let's say I also want this to fade a little bit longer. Just drag them. Fades right in, no problem. And let's say that I want that text to run all the way down to the end of the video, so I'm going to go to the fade point. Let's drag it down. And let's say at the same time I want it to tumble away. Tumble away, let's say we'll just give it a little bit longer. And let's go ahead and take a look at it, review it. So we're looking pretty good. And so I think I've got everything I wanted to do. So we did a split or a crop, basically, they call it. We've got everything faded in and out. We adjusted the volume. Um, I think that's about it. So what I'll do is uh, sometimes I'll actually watch the whole video. be painful. I don't know why I'm sitting here. I thought of another thing I do too. Let's say that we want to, uh, you don't want this to be silent and you want to put some sound in here. So let's say you have, I don't know, any type of sound background from the game or music or whatever. Um, what you can do is, I don't, I don't have any sound files really well I do, but not on the computer. I don't think, I think I have a beep. So let's, let's just add media. Let's go into, I think it's in here. Oops, 
Just OK. And then drag that there. Now, if it's further than the point you want, you don't want to put it into that little space. So mess things up. You'll want to adjust it. So I would do that. Look just like that. Adjust it in there. Holy. And then let's just fade it in and out. And let's give it a shot. Super annoying, but you get the point. And I'm just gonna kill that sound. There we go. Alright, so we're pretty much done with the video. Except now I need to uh, encode it. So what we'll do right here is what I'll do is I'll typically take this and I'll just bring it down a little bit so I can see part of the desktop before I run it and go uh, export share. Now I've created a custom in here. So the reason I did a custom is so I could get 60 FPS. This is 59.94, that's how it works. But and then I will just save it to the desktop. Yep. And typically, you know, I had a smaller one than what I did here on the first go around when I was messing around with this, so it wouldn't be so long, but it'll save it to the file, and then that file is a file that you can go ahead and upload to YouTube, and you're pretty much done with it. And I'm not going to do that for three some minutes, but and usually a 4K does take me a while. I think a 10 minute will take me 20 to 30 minutes. So, you can also save the clip, but when you're using this program, if you save a file or a clip, if you have a video, wherever those video or those components of the video are located and you save it, then you go back and move that component. When it goes to open this video up, it will be missing. You'll have to refind it or you're kind of done. So a lot of my stuff is actually, I have two M.2 drives. And, um, they're both the same now I, mean, I got two terabytes it's expensive almost 500 bucks a pop but i need the speed and i have external storage for backup and external storage for video for backup which is needed because the videos at 4k are actually pretty big amount of space but with running a lot of games i actually just needed to have two terabytes on each drive so that i could have enough space for because i don't like to fill up the drives on anything anyways i've always been the kind of person that's like if i've got let's say 50 terabytes, so I'm going to use 25 and then kind of not want to push it past that point, even though I'd probably be fine because I could go into a lot of detail about the uh, M.2s and how they perform. And pretty much, if you've got 10% of an M.2, you're going to be fine with anything. I think it's about 10%. So that's pretty much it on covering the video. I thought it'd be pretty helpful um, for some people. Or if some people were curious, um, it would be it. I mean, that there's a lot of different things to look at and different options to use, but I think using Adobe is a really good one and not having to do a subscription service is great. And so going with something like a Premiere Elements 2020 is a good deal for 99 bucks. Um, that's a bit of it. All right.